cooking merry christmas to you in advance and uh, today we are going to prepare cake in a cooker pressure cooker with some water many prepare uh, many people prepare in a pressure cooker without water that way the uh, cooker is in danger so let's start uh, with the ingredients so this is uh, one cup of all purpose flour as known as maida this is one third cup of uh, sugar one fourth cup of uh, oil some baking soda and baking powder cocoa powder lemon juice and some vanilla extract so this is going to be a vegan recipe so let's start uh, with the recipe in bowl i have 3 fourth cup of warm water actually hot water so now i'm going to add about 1 third cup of sugar to it and some vanilla extract and oil and mix it really well and this is sugar dissolves so after mixing well with in a sieve add the flour Three tablespoons of cocoa powder, one four teaspoon of baking soda, and half teaspoon of baking powder. Mix this all well and sieve. So we are going to mix this until a smooth batter. Looking really chocolatey, and it's a little bit thick batter as we are going to steam this. We don't want a uh, very thin batter, so it's little bit thick. So I'm going to add about one teaspoon of water to it and mix it really well. And we are going to do the preparations for preparing the cake. single thread uh, for your consistency so let's prepare the cooker now so this is the cooker i'm using uh, at the bottom i'm going to paste place this stand so that the cake does not uh, be on the uh, base of the cooker after that i'm going to add about a cup of water to it as we are going to steam the cake and this is a perforated uh, plate I have molded it. That's why it uh, is in the cooker. And like this. And we are going to keep the tin over here and steam the cake. So now let's uh, prepare the cake tin. This is a normal uh, steel box that I am using for uh, baking the cake. And this is about six inch. I am going to add about half a teaspoon of oil to it and grease it really well. You may also use cooking spray. We just now prepared our tin after greasing it well. So this smooth batter, I'm going to add this one tablespoon of lemon juice. This will help uh, in rising the cake. Mix this really well and immediately add to the tin. We have just now added the lemon juice. That is one tablespoon. And after mixing it uh, nice, I'm going to. Not to wait fast and add this to the cake tin. And we are going to add this to the cooker with the whistle. Sorry, without the whistle for about 18 to 20 minutes and check with the fork. Adding the cake, just tap it twice, thrice, or and add to the cooker. And cover it and let it uh, bake for about 18 to 20 minutes. Removing the vessel and let it uh, bake for about 18 to 20 minutes, and we will check after that. We are about 19 minutes, and we have just switched off the flame. I want to open the cooker and check the cake. OMG. 
how much rising it has been. So let's check it with the toothpick. So here I have a toothpick. It's too hot. It's too hot. It came out clear. So the cake has been baked. So we are going to take out and let it rest for about 10 to 15 minutes till the it cools. This cake uh, has been resting for about 5 minutes. Now we are going to run the knife over its edges. So that it leaves out the edges. And then turn it around and let it rest for about half an hour in the fridge. So that uh, as we have steamed it, it may be little bit soft so that it gets even in that. So let's see after 30 minutes. So after decorating it, it's ready and uh, I am not professional in it. I was not able to decorate it nicely. Sorry for that. You, know, you may do your own artwork. This is just chocolate and some whipped cream. So thank you for watching. Do subscribe, uh, like, comment and do check out our blog kubenshoot.blogspot.com Do check out our uh, Facebook place facebook.com slash Thank you for watching.